Well, it is tax time, and this time you can make it really easy. With us is David Williams. He's director of electronic tax administration at the Internal Revenue Service. Yes, I got an IRS guy here. And he's here to tell us about two programs that make tax preparation and filing a snap. E-file and free file. Welcome, David. Good morning. First of all, e-file. Now people can electronically file their tax return with no paper? Absolutely. And how many people are actually doing that? Well, about 80 million people last year, just under 60% of the population, in fact. How safe is it? Well, you know, a lot of people now are worried about anything online. Is it secure? And in fact, e-file is safe. We work with the people who prepare that software. So when you send us your tax return electronically, it's safe and secure and your information is protected. What's the difference between e-file and free file? Well, free file is a program that's available to about 70% of the population. People who make 54000 or less can use free file. It's 97 million Americans. There's only one way to do it. You have to go to irs.gov, and from there you can select the free file program. You pick from a commercial software program. There are a bunch of them you can use. You can prepare your taxes for free, and you can send them electronically to us all for free. And we think that's a big benefit for a lot of people. So it's actually getting easier and easier for people to file their taxes. Absolutely. And that's what we want people to know. If you don't have a tax repair, if you're worried about your taxes, you're trying to figure out how the heck you're going to get them done, come to irs.gov and use the free file program. It's a snap. I have to tell you, it seems like years ago, am I crazy? The tax returns used to seem so thick and so much tiny writing, and now there are a few simple pages that pop out of the computer. Is, has, well, has it gotten really that easy? <laughs> no, you've got all the paper in your no, office, don't you? I mean, that's why you use an electronic program to prepare your tax return, because you don't have to look at all the paper, and in fact, it takes the mystery out of it. A lot of people ask me, well, what's the new tax break this year? What do I need to know? And the bottom line is, you don't need to know it if you have a tax software program. It asks you some questions and it takes care of the rest. You'd be surprised if you hit the print button sometimes. Your return may be longer than you think it is. I know. I don't hit print. That's why. And how about that rebate that everybody's talking about? Can our viewers use free file and get the rebate? Uh, most people can use free file and get the rebate. The bottom line though is the way to qualify for a rebate is to file a tax return. You don't have to use free file. You don't have to electronically file though we want you to. The bottom line is file a tax return. Now one thing to remember, there are folks who don't make enough money to file a tax return and they also may be Social Security recipients or, or veterans beneficiaries. They need to file something so that we know that they need a, an economic stimulus or a rebate payment. So they can use free file to do that as well. So if you don't know that people in need are out there and they don't have their numbers in your computer, then you can't create the programs that can benefit them. Absolutely. We want to get those stimulus payments to taxpayers. We just have to have their name, address, and a few other things. So file your tax return. If you, even if you don't normally file one, this is the time to file one and you can use the free file program to do it. So what we're saying is it's easier than ever. What do people, what website do they go to do, do e-file? www.irs.gov for the free file program. Now I will mention that some of your viewers probably make more than $54,000 a year. And if that's the case, um, there are many commercially available software programs. Check them out. Make sure that there's one that will service you. Mm -hmm. And also make sure if you go online that it's a legitimate website. You asked me about security earlier. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes people worry. Just some quick tips for that. Pass your cursor over the Better Business Bureau link. Make sure it's active. Check the phone number on that website. There are people out there trying to steal your identities. You want to make sure that that's a legitimate website. And if, and this happens a lot, believe it or not, you're coming to irs.gov, remember to type .gov. A lot of people type dot something com, else, org. and it's not the same thing. It's different. And that, at that point, you go to a for-profit site. And not that there's anything wrong with it, but if you want the services of irs.gov and the free file program, that's what you need to do. Okay, what else can people find online at irs.gov besides free file and e-file? Well, the bottom line is if you've got questions, if you don't understand some tax provision, you need a form, you need instructions, or you need basic information about your tax situation, irs.gov has it. We also have something, some calculators, if you will. Um, people who are eligible for the earned income tax credit can use the earned income tax credit assistant to find out if they're eligible. In addition, for people who are getting rebates this year and you want to know how much am I going to get, there's a rebate calculator. It's called the Economic Stimulus Calculator. You can go and put your basic information in. Mm -hmm. It'll tell you how much you're going to get. David, thank you so much for being here. An IRS guy. See, they're really harmless. They're great guys. Oh. And he talks about rebates. Okay, irs.gov, no other site. Got it. Thanks for being here. Great, thanks.